Welcome to Kingdom of God Ministries International. Welcome to a new chapter of self-discovery and purposeful living. Come and embark on a transformative journey to rediscover your purpose and unlock the kingdom leadership within you. May God richly bless you on this incredible journey in Jesus' name. Now, let us join my dad, Chief Apostle, Dr. Reginald Washington, for another inspirational message. And so we're driven. Mm -hmm. And because we were exceedingly tempest tossed, mm -hmm. the next day they lightened the ship. Stop right there. You don't have any control. When the storms of your life begin to rage because of your decisions. All night, all day. All night, all day. All night, all day. Oh, I want to stop. Well, you can't stop. You got caught up. I'm in the waves. I'm in the wind. I'm, I'm all jacked up. I'm ready for it to stop, but you can't. Because <laughs> you are in that situation, this is going to take you away. Jonah was in the belly of the well. He could not get out, even though he was ready to get out. He wasn't getting out until it was time to get out, and he didn't know how long he was going to be down there. Amen, somebody. He didn't know how long he was going to be down there. He was just there, stuck in his own situation. Amen. So, who, this is, the, this is the question. Who is the person in your life that is preventing the hell you cause from destroying you? We looked in verse 17 and 18. Those men did everything they could because that ship was now broken. How many lives are now broken because of the decisions that they made against what the man of God told them? Now, that is, now, now their life, their, their, the wind does not care. The waves does not care if there's a hole in your boat. Listen, the devil's job is to devour you. You can't plead with him. If, if, if a long deer gets caught in the wilderness, in the hyenas, and the jackals come, <laughs> they're like that. <laughs> oh, they're so nice here front. No. They're grinning at you before they eat your flesh. And, they were, and, and it sounds like they're laughing. The jackal sounds like he's laughing while he's tearing your flesh. I have never seen a deer negotiate with a jackal and win. These men tried to fix their mistake and could not. They was in a bad position. Doing all they could do, they couldn't fix the mess they were in. And what does verse 20 say? Did I miss it? Now, now when neither sun nor stars appeared for many days and no small tempest beat on, and no small tempest beat on us, all hope that we would be saved was finally given up. Come on. No small tempest. They recognized they made a mistake. They were swept out to sea. They tried to fix the boat. Night and day they tried until they gave up hope. So who is going to be there to fix your mess when all hope is lost. Apostle, uh, uh, can you come put some money on my books and talk to the judge? I'm sorry, boo. I, I can't come right now. There was two young people that, that Bishop Stallworth Sr. was pleading with them to get saved at the altar, and he never really stick, take that much time with one person. And he was playing with them. They was going, well, next week, next week, next week, next week. Well, in between the Sundays, they were on a motorcycle and was killed. In a, in, in, they were hit and killed. 
they, they, there's no hope. There's no hope. Isn't that awesome? To be, a, we, we're studying spiritual authority for a reason. When you associate with successful people, the greater chances you are to be successful. Some of you want hope out of your situation. You need to link up with other people who have more than what you do. Sit down, shut up, and learn something. You need to pick some successful people and ask them out to lunch and pay for it. Bring a notepad and pencil and listen to what they've got to say. If you associate with the people you want to be like, then you have a better chance of being like that. A drunk hangs around a drunk is always going to be a drunk. A drug addict is going to hang around drug addicts. Gang bangers hang around gang bangers. Lawyers hang around lawyers. Doctors hang around doctors. And I, and I want to pause just for a moment if I can. I want to apologize if, if I was too hard on the ladies last time I spoke. I don't mean no harm. And also maybe the brothers. I meant what I said, but I, if I hurt your feelings, I apologize. But this is what I want to give you, a little nugget. If you're looking for a mate, and you've got this long list of what you're looking for, become the list. Brothers, if you're looking for a, a woman of a certain stature and for her to do and that, if I have certain character and values, become that, what you're looking for, and you will attract like attracts like. If you want to live hood and think ghetto, you're going to attract hood and ghetto. I've never seen an eagle have lunch with a pigeon. Well, a, 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 a pigeon has become lunch. But eagles have no fellowship with pigeons. If you want an eagle of a man, you have to think like an eagle, act like an eagle, dress like an eagle, talk like an eagle. If you so, Who you are becomes what you think first. If you want money in the bank, you have to think like people with money. So that means you can't spend everything. If you want nice clothes, you got to stop shopping at the 99 cent store. Spend, you got to save some money. Some delayed gratification. Come on. If you want that expensive hair, you need to cut back on some other things. Look, my, 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 one of my ex-wives, she, she, she had it good. Got her nails done every two weeks. Got her hair done every two weeks. And her hair cost $300 and up. I'm working my Herbalife business. I, had a, I, had, I was working for the, for the county on contract, and, and I had a janitorial business. I had a little money, you know, jingling, jingling. I'm on the phone, and she goes slide into my pocket and pull out 40 go get her a touch-up. And if that's the kind of man you want, you, you got to become. Some people need to take finances courses to manage what you have. Amen. A man that got money don't want a woman that can't spend, can't save, and vice versa. Amen. You have to become what you're looking for. You have to become. Ask apostle how to handle your dollars. Take damn Dave, Dave, Dave Ramsey's course of it of finances. Listen, you are what you think. You cannot send a duck to eagle school. You can't send a duck to eagle school. Because when he graduates, the first rabbit he finds is going to make him his friend. Think about it. In order to change, you have to change your character. You have to change your personality. You have to take in some wise counsel from somebody and don't get caught in the tempest of the world because it's just to destroy you. It looks calm and cool right now, but you can get caught up in some stuff real quick and it can get real messy and real sloppy. It takes one person to burn a house down, but it takes a whole crew to build it up. 
And if you want your finances built up, you got to get a crew. If you want your life spiritually built up, you have to get a crew to help you build that thing. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. All right, we beat that up enough. Verse 21. Let's, verse 21 and 22. But after long abstinence from food, then Paul stood in the midst of them and said, Men, you should have listened to me and not, and not have sailed from Crete and incurred this disaster and loss. And now I urge you to take heart, for there will be no loss of life among you, but only of the ship. Read verse 23, please. Oh, anyway, stop right there. Mm -hmm. The man of God will speak and bring hope when all hope is gone. But he told you, if you had just listened to me, right, you would not have suffered loss. But in that, when a true man of God speaks into your life, he's not going to leave you in the garbage can. Amen, somebody. When a true man of God speaks to you, okay, he'll tell you, you messed up. I told you not to go, but you did anyway. But be encouraged. Deliver me from people that will cut you open and leave you to bleed. That's not the way Jesus did it. That's not the way he did it. He'll tell you about yourself, but he's always hope. There's always hope. Yes, you're messed up. No, you shouldn't have left. But see, he says the man of God, he's, it, it says in, uh, in uh, verse uh, 21, but after long abstinence, Paul stood forth. He sat down for a minute. Oh, you don't want to listen? Okay. All right. Hey, guys, I perceive you going out there is not a good idea. They sailed anyway. Paul said, okay. Now, you want to hear something now? Are you ready to listen? Somebody will say, tap out. You guys know what that means, right? When you're wrestling and the guy got the best of you. You tap out. Some of us need to tap out in the Holy Ghost. Some of us need to tap out in the Spirit. Some of us need to recognize that we've all messed up. We need to tap out. We need to call. For, we, don't, we need to call for some roadside service. Some of us can't spay. Some, come on, we're, we're stuck on Highway 405 with no jack. We need to tap out. Come on, I'm serious. So, Lord, I'm tapping out. I, I give up. I tried. I tried to fight it. I, I messed up. I, I'm tapping out, Lord. And the Lord said, okay, now let me restore you. Let me, let, let, me, let, me, let me put some salve on it. Is there a balm in Gilead? Yes, it is. There's healing for the nation. If you just 